Hi everyone, welcome back to the Nay and Nails channel. I'm Steffi Fernandez and in today's video, we'll be doing, well, one of my all time favorite trends, like ever. Uh, we're going to do the uh, traditional Korean Aurora eye snail. Uh, I'm gonna do it slightly different, but it's the same principle. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get cracking. So I'm gonna start off by applying a layer of base coat on the snail. I have buffed it as well, but uh, we're applying base because we are kind of using gel as well. However, it is layered, so um, you'll see what I mean in a second. I'm gonna apply a layer of base coat and cure it for 30 seconds. So base coat cured, we are going to use our Urban Graffiti top coat as well. And that's because I'm applying pigment and I want the pigment to really, really uh, be worked in. So it has to be a shiny surface. So I'm going to apply top coat, uh, cure it and then go in with one of our gorgeous um, chrome pigments. <laughs> So I'm going in with our gorgeous chrome pigment called Sapphire, which has got like a hint of blue in it. And I think it will go lovely with the angel paper that we'll be using. And I'm just going to pick up some with my silicone tool and rub it all over the nail. So you get a nice kind of bluish tint. Okay. I don't know if you can see exactly what's happening here, Drew. Beautiful though. I love, love pigments. Just bought a load of pigments myself. My collection is growing. So I'm applying that and generously really rub it in. You want it to be really shiny. You, you want to have that satin finish making sure that it covers the whole nail. So I've got this over here. Look how beautiful that looks. It's got that Aurora kind of tint to it. Uh, now to make this design, I'm gonna be using um, angel paper from um, one of our packs that we have. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous must have uh, you know, pack that you need to get. Uh, it's got beautiful colors, all Aurora, angel paper. Uh, I'm gonna be using this one, but I've already cut a kind of square shape for this design. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like, but you can do it with all different colors. And of course, we also have different chromes that will match those colors. So I chose blue because I'm using blue, but you can do um, use our emerald one or or the I don't know what other colors we have but we have quite a few you can use them underneath and use a green one and it will look just as gorgeous so I'm going to apply a tiny bit of our build gel a really tiny bit of build gel on to my palette nice and flat you don't want to have too much product on you just want to put it in so you can kind of, um, I suppose, dip the strip into it. So I've got a strip that I've got over here already. Okay. And I'm going just to take my tweezers and kind of dip it in on one side. So the build gel is just on one side of this paper. So I'm going to pick that. If you can. If I can, I can, I'm gonna, I, oh, I can. <laughs> Keep going. I'm gonna <laughs> put my finger on top. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yay, we made it. <laughs> I didn't touch the gel either. I've been quite good. So I'm gonna pick that stripe once I've done it and I'm just gonna place it on top of the nail that we did. 
Now I'm going to try and press it to get it as flat as possible. However, on the original kind of way you make it, it's not really flat. They like to raise um, the section where the angel paper is on and have it in a different shape to the nail, but I'm just gonna encapsulate it so it looks like it's a part of the nail. So I'm gonna leave that on the nail and then I'm gonna pop it into the lamp. 30 seconds, guys. Now, before I encapsulate it, I'm going to just go back into my um, palette and just add some clear gel in the edges so it's easier for me to encapsulate the angel paper because obviously it's um, it's slightly raised. So I want to just fill in the gaps so it's easier for me to come in with the build gel and um, encapsulate the paper. So I'm literally just adding gel over here, around. A little bit here and I'm popping it back into the lamp now we've got it uh, all kind of sealed and I'm just going to pick up a load of the build gel and start encapsulating this design so I'm just gonna float the product around and bring it down from side to side, just as you would. Try to keep in touch, in contact with the builder gel so there'll be less bubbles. Just gonna encapsulate it. And the thing is, there's so much depth already in this look. I just love it. I'm going to turn it around a little bit just so the product is nice and even. I can even go in with my um, detailing brush and just pull some of the product on areas that I think it's missing. I like to do that usually when I do build a gel. Bring some of the product back if you have to. And once you're happy with the shape, you're gonna pop it into the lamp. So our build gel is fully cured. I'm going to wipe the tacky layer off with gel residue wipe off solution. And then what I want to be doing is basically um, I want to file the nail. That's the word. I want to file the nail, buff it into shape as well. And then I'm going to top coat it for you. So I'm going to do it off camera and then I'll um, show you what it looks like. So I'm back. It's filed into shape. Looks really cool. I love it already and it's matte. So let's see what happens when we top coat this. Sorry, and I'm smiling like an idiot, but I love it. Honestly, one of my favorite, favorite trends. It's so beautiful. And because we've got the um, pigment underneath as well, so it has like two dimensions. Let me just, um, okay, stop staring. I'm gonna pop this into the lamp. And then I'll show you what it looks like. And this is it, guys. Oh, I love it. I know that I seem like a right weirdo right now, but I really love anything that's holographic. 
aurora uh, i don't know whatever anything that shines is great and i just love this trend so much um it looks so much better on clear nails as well i've tried it before with not clear nails it's it's beautiful as well but in my opinion clear nails all the way um but yeah i can't believe we've not done a video on this before it's such a stunning design and yeah i hope you enjoyed it guys if there's any other trends like this that are shiny and beautiful and you'd like to see then comment below and i'll try my best to recreate it for you guys and as usual don't forget to like share subscribe and hit that notification bell and i'll see you all on the next one love you guys bye